Down south we put meat in our beans, greens, potatoes, you name it. If you're not putting these off in your beans and greens and cabbages and things like that, then how deep from the dirty dirty are you? Smoke turkey wings. Let's go, chef. The briars caught my dreads. I'm this deep from the dirty dirty. Let's go, chef. Naruto run. Pew. We put meat in our greens, beans, tomatoes, you name it. Wait, that's, that's kind of old, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> to a food attainment in the building. Let's go, chef. If, if you, know you know the song, the song sing, sing along. along. What's up, everybody? Chef Anthony Albritton here, the Carolina cook, cooking, tasting, and eating the Carolinas. It's the chef of the United States, y'all. They didn't vote for me. I elected myself. You got to tell yourself who y'all are. Y'all, in this episode... I will be cooking up some soul food. All right, you know, down south, we big on the oxtails. All right, but I've never had my oxtails the way that I'm preparing them tonight. All right, so tonight, on tonight's menu, y'all, is more southern playlistic soul food. Once you get on it, you can't get off it. There's one thing about down south, man. We do big boy cooking down here. But the thing about it, y'all, when I bring y'all these dishes and these techniques or whatever, um, half the time it's just what's in me to do. Like, it's just stuff that's in me that comes out, like no particular plan, no particular plan seasoning or plan this or that, whatever. It just, boom, on the fly. You know, I have in my mind what I want to cook, but I don't have in my mind how I'm going to, you know, finesse it and put it together. So when I make the videos, it's all happening in real time in front of your eyes, you know, from the inner chef to you, from the inner chef to you. Okay, y'all, I'm extending y'all some Southern hospitality by welcoming y'all to my Carolina kitchen. I would expect that same hospitality back in the form of you liking, comment, sharing the love and subscribing to the channel. And I am proud to be a Southern chef, proud to represent Southern cooking, man. Glad to be and thankful to be raised the way that I was raised and fed the way that I was fed because it allows me to cook the way that I cook. Now, in this episode, y'all, I will be cooking up some fried oxtails, chicken flavored rice, green lima beans with okra and smoked turkey wings. Southern playlistic soul food. Once you get on it, you can't get off it. So come with me. Take a trip inside my mind, get your passport, whatever you need to get. Come take a trip inside my mind and see how I made this. Let's go, chef. All right, y'all, I got me some cola. I got me some cola, man. Cheap store brand. <laughs> Cheap store brand cola. Cola is cola, man. Now I got some oxtails here that I'm gonna pour this cola on. Pour this whole two liter cola in here if it all fits. And it does. See, y'all too good for that store brand. Know what I mean? Same thing. All right, you see that meat start starting to fizz and everything like that? All right, what this cola is going to do is uh, tenderize these oxtails. All right. As you can see, the oxtails are cut pretty thin. 
So this technique may not work well with thicker oxtails unless you just soak them forever. All right. So um, I'm just trying a different technique of tenderizing my meat. You can tenderize your meats with different things like kiwi, pineapple, stuff like that. And cola is a good one too. Tea, coffee, stuff like that. Baking soda, list goes on. Um, now, you can cook your oxtails for about three hours, season them up and cook them for about three hours until they tender, then fry them for about two or three minutes. But what I'm going to do is just soak them in this cola and try this technique. Soak them for about an hour or so until they're nice and tender. Then I'm going to fry them up. May not be uh, as good as cooking them first, but if you want a more tender oxtail before you fry them, cook them about three hours or so before you fry them. I'm sure I would have yielded a more tender result if I would have uh, marinated them in the Coca-Cola for more than uh, an hour. But, hey, I'm on a time frame here. If I knew I was doing it this way, I probably would have uh, marinated them for, for hours on end before cooking them. But I got to do it quick since that's my situation right now. Okay, and while those oxtails are tenderizing... What I'm going to do is uh, start tenderizing my turkey wings by adding them to the pressure cooker. And as you can see, I got them cut in half. That way the bone marrow and everything flavors the pot liquor. What I'm going to do is just season the water with some black pepper since the smoked turkey is already probably full of sodium. All right. And this is the meat that I'm going to put in my beans. Now, that sound y'all hearing is that turkey in there doing this thing, man. So, we're going to let that go, and then we're going to get back to it when it's time to uh, start the process on cooking the beans. It's been a little over an hour, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and drain these oxtails and start prepping them to uh, begin the frying process. As you can see, the coke has really tenderized these oxtails, and judging by the texture of them, I feel that they are tender enough to begin frying now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is season these oxtails with some steak and burger seasoning, salt, pepper, sneeze powder, and some ranch seasoning mix. All right, and that's the Southern way of seasoning meat, okay? Don't play no games with it. All right, now, after generously seasoning both sides of the meat, I'm going to go ahead and work that seasoning throughout the meat. All right, y'all, at this point, after seasoning the oxtails, I'm going to go ahead and dip them in some buttermilk, then dredge them in flour. All right, then we're going to get ready to fry them up after that. Now, if you want your oxtails more tender, again, I say cook them for about three hours or soak them a whole lot longer than I soak mine if you're using a meat tenderizer. And you don't have to worry about the uh, buttermilk washing your seasoning off because that will not happen. Plus, I, gener I generously season these oxtails, so that's not an issue. Got the oil about 350. We're going to go ahead and drop these oxtails. It's been about seven minutes on the oxtails. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. Let them drain. And start on my second batch. Look at that. Looking like fried chicken. All right, now, after all of that, my uh, turkey wings have had plenty of time to fall from the bone, so I'm going to go ahead and drain those, and I'm going to reserve the pot liquor because I'm going to put some of that back into the pot with the beans. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bones from this meat, get my beans situated, and go from there. All right, man, what I'm doing now is stirring my uh, turkey wings into the, into the lima beans because it's like I said, man. Down south, we put meat off in our beans, greens, potatoes, 
you name it. <laughs> Let's pour a little bit of this pot liquor in there. Drop some of that in there. Got some okra here that I'm gonna rinse with that pot liquor. Get a little of that slime and stuff off of them. Let's add them to the pot. Stir that around. The key is to cook these lima beans until they form that, that uh thick gravy that comes from the beans. Then towards the back end is when I added the okra so that they don't overcook and get too mushy. And you don't want to wash all of the slime off of the okra because, of course, that helps the, uh, the gravy or the pot liquor thicken as well. Now, I hope y'all didn't think I wasn't going to season this. Now, let me go ahead and hit it with some adobo all-purpose seasoning. The one with the, uh, the one you can use on veggies as well as meats. And a little chicken bouillon. Let's season it with some black pepper, some sneeze powder, some salt. All right, y'all, I would say that's about ready. That uh, pot liquor has thickened to the consistency I want it. The okra and the beans have cooked together really well. Turkey blended in there really smoothly, southern style. So I'm going to turn this off and just leave it on the heat and let it just simmer and rest at the same time if that's a thing got my rice here y'all with a sprig of rosemary in it as an aromatic that's done that is chicken flavored rice by the way then you got the oxtails here nice and ready gonna fix up a plate all right let's get that plate going that's my chicken rice right there y'all now you know i wasn't gonna let that rice stand alone I had to bring those lima beans and okra with the smoked turkey wings off in there. And I had to bring those uh, nice, crispy, golden brown fried oxtails off in there. As y'all can see, that's nice and tender, man. You know what I mean? Now, if you want it softer than that, like I said, cook it for about three hours first instead of marinating it. I, I just got to look at it over my glasses. You know how, how your grandma used to look over her glasses like this. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, share the love, and subscribe to get me into the rhythm of the algorithm, y'all. And y'all just remember, I have, you have, and we all have done some bad things in life, done some good things in life. All of us got that yin and yang thing going on where we got our good and we got our bad and we got our good side, we got our bad side or whatever. Everybody is capable of doing bad and everybody is capable of doing good. But with that being said, y'all, I have done bad things in life. I've done good things in life. Being positive is the hardest because you get the most flack for doing that. You get the most resistance for doing that. You get the most criticism for doing that. You get the most haters and enemies from doing that. You understand? Like when I was doing bad things, I did not have as much nonsense like I do trying to do good. So it shows that trying to do good and be positive takes a lot of effort and it's hard work. And when things come your way, it's just trying to make you think, oh, it's easier to just do bad. Because Things are going to come to try to railroad you and deter you from doing good. But keep doing good, y'all. Keep doing good. It takes more work. It takes more patience. And it takes more practice. Doing good got me talked about the most. Worked against the most. Hated the most. But I won't take none of it back. Because doing good, that's what comes with it, man. It's going to be challenged. And it's going to be challenging. But stay positive, man. Don't go back. Don't think the other way is better. It's not. Just some words of wisdom there, along with the comedy and along with the cooking. Out.
like if, share if thou the love, and subscribe if unto my channel. And smite if that notification button. Thank you. Let's go, chef. It's the Carolinas. It's the Carolinas. 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 Carolinas.